to the award-winning team-building exercise season three. Yeah, the guys are running out of ideas for lists, so this season is going to be pretty random. I hope they just don't give up and stop doing them. I think it's a great resource, but what do I know? Yeah, this month we have the Maison Corporation. These guys are said to be doing some illegal research with Nameless and Plague and a Chovar in their list. I don't think any of the rumors are true. Yes. Make me check out to Georgie D. Goblin. Yes. Yes. Uh, another zeros will be agreed upon. Hey, is, 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 this, is this still on? And welcome to another edition of Team Building Exercise, the award-winning team building exercise. I'm Rob. And I'm Jack. And I'm Coach. And we're here. We're. No, I won't. <laughs> I was going to say we're here. We're. Yes. Stop right there, <laughs> Rob. Let me take over. They're being insensitive. Um, so today, because we're doing a very special episode, uh, there's nothing planned, and outbreak doesn't come out until the ninth. So everyone has to be very, very quiet. That's we've all been told that. So till the ninth. So I've been tasked with making a special outline for today's show. And so I've asked my cohorts here to uh, make up a uh, theme building exercise, a meme building exercise, and a dream building exercise, of which I will uh, ease us through um, a- as we go along. So, um, yes, we're ready to get started. Uh, and I wish Outbreak would have came out a little bit earlier so we could all, as a group, all of us journalists, release it into the wild. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. <laughs> Jack. Did you get the memo? No. What was the What was the memo? Well, it seems outbreaks into the wild. It it it, it outbroke. Wait, we can't oh. talk about it. We sign NDAs. Yeah, Rob, come on. Well, once an NDA is broken, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> did you did you did you wander out of Infinity War and just say, "Oh, remember when Loki got choked?" Spoilers. No one would do that. No one would do that. It's got done. Oh. So, so we're gonna... we, we can do it, Jack. We can do it. We can all do it live. All my planning. We'll like, do another. We'll do it another time, Jack. You keep those. You keep those notes handy. I was. I was spreading my ring, wings, Rob. Rob, I'm... wait, Jack, what... come back, back down to earth. Yeah, come back, Jack. Are you, are you saying humanity once again? The the the. the sh- Not today. Yes, that is humanity. Is has ruined my dreams. As always, yeah. Oh. As as a constant state of existence for you, yes. Okay, Rob. Well, then you go back to some. I'll uh, I'll just sit here dejected. So, sh- so should I announce what we're doing? Sure. So we are doing, which is not. I will repeat, is not a GCPS faction. We are doing the Maison Lab Corps. Yay. Yes. Don't, don't all jump up at once. So basically, <laughs> even though the book hasn't come out, we're going to do it. Right? We're going to do sure. it live. And we have to put a disclaimer oh, on that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait. We can talk about it? Y- yes, Boomer. Boomer, are you shocked that we can actually talk about it now? I, I, I am I am very surprised. <laughs> that, that is very weird. Why is it the, weird? Well, why is it weird? Be, because it's supposed to be secret. It needs to be a secret. The secret's I, out. I, I remember when Boomer had an Australian accent. Uh, Jack, I, I I wasn't talking to you. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Anything else yep. to say Boomer, while we're here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really good at this. Yeah, you. Georgie's the man when it comes to this. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. I I think I know about that. Uh, well, yeah, I think everyone Jack, knows about that. Jack, what do you think about that? Is what do you think, Boomer or or Georgie? Which one's better at interrupting? Um, see, when Boomer does it, it's an interruption. When Georgie does it, it's an old friend coming into the, into the conversation to bring liveliness and, uh, impart wisdom. This, this is just aggravating right now. Like, <laughs> man, I do not appreciate that. I don't either, Boomer. I think you're fine. See, see that, that's exactly what I was talking about. I can't wait for my goblin to come in season four. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't, I don't know about that. You know, you're not, you know, I, you know, I'm starting to side with Jack a little bit. You know, George is a little more upbeat and stuff. Go get Georgie. 
Uh, 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 I don't know about that. All right. You, you kill George. You got a catchphrase? Uh, well, well, I don't know about that. All right, get out of here. Go, go. Because <laughs> yeah, you're terrible. 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 Georgie. Oh. I miss Georgie. Everyone loves Boomer. Mm. All right, so uh, let's get to it, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Jack. Make your Maison Labs list. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jack, how are you? Not too bad, Georgie. Not too bad. How are you? I'm I'm glad. Uh, I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm actually not doing too well. I, I, Boomer just passed me, and oh, my God. I just got a whiff of just, like, Doritos and, like, poop. I just, a, a, the stench was so terrible. He's, he soils himself on, on the regular, like, just between you and me. So, like, that's that's probably what just smelled. Yeah, yeah, and he also mentioned something about uh, you guys talking about the Maison the Maison Lab dudes? Well, isn't it too early? <laughs> see, see, uh, Georgie also has a sense of honor when everyone's told, okay, keep it under your hats, maybe a hint or two. We were allowed to give like a, some very subtle, very, very small, you know, teasers. That was what we were prom- permitted. But uh, apparently I, what I've just learned is Georgie, we, we've, we've been betrayed. Oh, Jack. Jack, I don't know what to do anymore. You, you told me this, and, and now I'm sad because we've been betrayed. <laughs> me too. If you had been here about 10 minutes early, you would have heard my... my I, that was Those were my exact words. Yeah, yeah what do I know? <laughs> no. Anyway, so I'm tired, and, uh, uh... Jack, I'm gonna try your method against Boomer again. Let's just um, hope, and let's just hope another part of the house doesn't, uh, well, does it just disappear again? No, you you do what you have to do, and I think uh, more people have come to our side. Yeah, I don't know about that, R- Rob. Uh, I th- apparently Rob, I heard a rumor Rob likes Boomer, but I I I, I, r- I just really hope that's not true. Thing about Rob is uh, he he keeps his uh, friends close, but his enemies closer. Rob's very fickle too, right? That's why he'd do a show with you three. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, fickle is such a big word. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excelsior! All right, good, good. Standing ovation all around. That's how you do it. That's how you come in to a show, spice things up. I uh, I had my hopes and dreams crushed like five minutes ago that my my whole show that I was allowed to do has been uh, erased. <laughs> now now there's wind underneath my wings again. You know, I, I, I do got to say that Boomer did bring it to a screeching halt. Thank God Georgie came in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, I, 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 I bet uh, you had some you, – you were, you know, doing a little pushing and pulling there to – Get that to happen. You read the room, a little bit. Little yeah. bit. That's a yeah, you know what it is. Professional man. Look it up. Look it up. So that's been uh, this episode. Of- this is it, it, you know you know Jack. It's terrible because this is usually when Rob cuts us off and like all right Jack you lists and you know like that. But uh, this is the this is the season of off the rails. So um, Jack, if you would, let's start with your list. Okay, perfect, perfect. We're starting with my list, the uh, Maison Labs um, from the new book, Outbreak, which has not been released yet, but... um, But it's coming. It is coming. It is coming. And Mantic saw fit to release, uh, to to give certain people the carte blanche. So, you know, I can't can't question that. But uh, by the time this comes out, um, most people are already known, so we're not spoiling anything at this point. I started with uh, Dr. Lucas Coiner. Nice. Um, I would call him Dr. Octavius Coiner um, just because I think I would like to do that. He's a uh, dapper young fellow with robotic arms and uh, I believe uh, uh, probably a bit of a sadist. A little bit. I wouldn't call him Dr. Octavius because he only got tree arms. 
Well, he he's got three robotic arms plus his two other arms. That's five. Then he's got his two legs. That's six uh, or seven. So he's he's one limb away from me. Uh, 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 <laughs> slow down. Man. Oh, oh, there, there, there's a taskmaster jumping in the the censorship taskmaster. They don't no, call I him tripod for nothing. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> okay, so um, he's a. Uh, <laughs> Shoots fives, fights fives, saves fours. Um, Tactician two, which is pretty all right. Little slice all right. Frenzy one and medic. Mm-hmm. Um, is recon six plus? Meh, but I, you can't have it all right. Yeah. Uh, so he's well, got the... I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, cut you off. We'll talk about it, like, I guess, during tactics. But recon six, in a way, with this list, doesn't really matter if you, if you do it a certain way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So a little teaser. You might have built your list around a little. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. That's good. Um, he comes with uh, three uh, type weapons, the ones that are on his robotic arms, and there's a uh, a uh, range fight stun, range one stun. Uh, these ejectors that are like needles. Then there's also a laser cutter, which uh, range two. AP burns, nice, uh, leaves his, his hands free, but he can still, uh, you know, do horrific sh- shoddy medical work on someone. Mm. And his army special is, uh, something called fast acting serum. Um, and I know usually we don't give it to, to coach to do this, but, uh, so he might not be prepared. I have it right for me. I can read it, but. I, oh, I got like it. it. I, I, well, I have, I have, I have the book, and I also have the Mercs book ready to go. So, okay. So, but anytime, I, anytime you need stats on a Merc, just holler back. I don't. I have the physical copy here, but we, yeah. we did sign an NDA that said we couldn't uh, do anything with it yet. So, so I, I, I again, I've just teased it a little bit, but uh, uh, or I can read it. But I like, I kind of like throwing it to you for the the, the, the special. Well, it's fact acting serum. Which is basically almost like the, um, I guess the sergeant from the plague, but it's different wherein that if, and you use the splat uh, to replace a model in your strike team that has just been killed with a plague victim model. The plague victim is placed pinned and activated in the same cube as the killed model and can activate as normal for the next round. So basically, uh, when one of your guys dies, they can come back as a plague victim. Uh, in all ways, a new model acts as a member of your strike team. VPs are scored for killing both the original model and if the new plague victim model is killed. Fact acting serum takes precedence over any other similar rules such as plague infection. So it's it's kind of cool that if somebody dies, he comes back as a plague victim. And uh, the plague victims aren't too bad. You get a free plague victim if he dies. So it's basically uh, with attack two and the splat, you can almost get another use out of these guys but they do come back pinned which kind of makes sense they die and then they fall on the floor and then they come back oh you know they're not zombies but they are plague victims and uh i'll take a plague victim over a zombie any day me too me too i like that splat like uh, we, we we haven't discussed anything else we're not going to get into it but uh, i will say i i really like that you know what Themat- thematically i like it and just tactically i like it and just for the, the the fun and chaos of it, I like it. And Jack, if if I may, just to 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 sum it up, I'm sure you'll agree that that uh, Lucas's splat is lit. It is lit. Okay. Just to, I'm I'm just want to establish that early on. Okay. So uh, to follow that up with his splat, I thought, well, do I really want to you know start taking all the best of the best for troops and stuff? Not not really. So I went the second lowest troop, the um, ho- hoarding out the, the medical technicians uh, that didn't seem like a, you know, then now you're relying on splats and stuff. So mm-hmm. I went with six security guards. Nice. They're uh, eight points each. They come with a, uh, like they're, they're all right for troops, uh, five, six, five, you know, mm. pretty, pretty average. Right. But they come with the laser carbine. Uh, uh, it's a range six, rapid fire, weight fire one. No, that's no, that's um, that's the uh, marines. 
They come with just a basically range six la- uh, laser rifle. Oh, that was the security guard. Yeah, the uh, the next level up has the uh, good weapon. Right. The the Marines have the good weapon. Oh, they've just got the laser uh, rapid fire. Just right. rapid fire. No way to fire. It's the same thing. No, just way, no to way to fire. Yeah. My mistake. I I apologize. So it's <laughs> well, a rapid fire. Mean, the... Listen, listen, Jack. The book's not even out yet, so you, you know things like this will happen. And oh, it it's going to happen again on my list. Uh, my, my list will uh, shock and surprise and cause anger with my co-hosts. Um, that is that is a fact. Not as much as mine, but go ahead. Okay. Um, after the security guards, I have two uh, Blackwing medics. No. <laughs> wait, you, you you went you all right? So wait, are you joking? Security, security guards, you took what? Six. You took six, and now we're going on to specialists. Yes, I know it's been a, it's been a while. We haven't done this in a while. You got it. You got to let us know, bro. Uh, okay. All right. Are you joking okay. about the medics, there, Jack? No, no, I am not. I, are you sure you're not joking about medics? No, I've I've been told. I've heard that you don't know how to play Dead Zone unless you have medics. Mm, I've heard engine. that. I don't believe it, but I do hear that. But you know, who am I to judge? <laughs> the, the powers that be have decided who are right and wrong in this. So, like, you know, I got to go with. I gotta go with that. So I I, I took two. Really? Uh, yeah, they're twelve points each. Now, now, Jack, if I may, it, you know, I mean, I don't interrupt often, but when oh. I do, it's because of someone mentions either a medic or an engineer. Um, why take the medic? I it just explained to myself. Uh, you... No, I understand that, but like, like, I mean, you know, as, as someone who wants to get better at Dead Zone, how would I? How would I? Um, how would I use the medic? Like, what's what's the strategy? I, I I took two Blackwing medics and I gave them med packs, so that's five extra points on there. So the, uh, the medic is twelve plus the extra five for the med packs, so we're good to go. That that I'm going to be uh, winning with that combination. Solid. And then then I uh, gave. Then I also picked up two stimulant shots. Well, I can't and, have two uh, different things. It, no, but they're not on anyone. Well, they have to Just be on someone. Them. They're going to be on the security guards. Like, okay. You can't. Uh, the, the, the medics aren't going to be juicing up people. Come on, Rob. Okay. Just making sure you're. That's right. That's you. I mean, because because that... yeah. it seems like you're going a little crazy. We're just double checking the sanity. Um. Then I'm following up with uh two because I have uh the six security guards. I can have two vehicles. So I went with two Blackwing Striders. Wow. There is no Strider. I'm so confused. <laughs> well, that's that's what happens when you start releasing something that's still in the beta form. That you really, all these things are probably all. If you look hard, you'll find the Blackwing Strider, which you're allowed to have the Polaris cannon with. So I took each one of those has the Polaris cannon for ten points. Mm-hmm. I agree. Good job, Jack. And then, uh, last but not least, because I thought it would be hilarious, and because Lucas uh, Coiner, or Octavius, already has uh, his hands free, but also has those weapons, I also gave him a five-point energy gauntlet. I don't think he can have it, can he? It's a leader. Yeah, but he doesn't have, I don't think he has allowed him any we- uh, weapon options. You have to have, it has to say leader in the weapon options, under him. It does say leader in the weapon options. Leader, does it? weapon Under options, him? leader. Oh, okay. leader, small leader, small arms, and light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just making sure. No, you so, keep, keep 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 doing that. Keep him on his toes. Good job, Rob. <laughs> no, oh, I, yeah. I, I I made the statement that my list would cause some some confusion and 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 anger. I, I'm and, confused. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. I have I have uh, struck all of those. So the, the Striders are thirty points each with the Polaris cannon, uh, an extra ten. So that's uh, two forty point models. Plus the energy gauntlet, plus the uh, yeah, I end up with a total of one hundred and ninety nine points. Oh god, really? One point extra? It's because I with, with the two med packs, the two stimulant shots, and the uh, energy gauntlet. I I couldn't. That's my that's my common. Uh, it, it was it was close. It was close. So that that is my list. Hey Jack, if you want, why don't you give uh, Lucas a pistol for one point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you buy a weapon, doesn't it replace the weapons he's already got? Oh, he uh, has no. He doesn't really have any weapons. He just he has, does have. He, he has a range of a stun weapon. Yeah. Would and the I will... gauntlet replace that? <clears throat> no, because uh, 
uh, I will point you to uh, on page 55. It says weapon does not replace the default weapon on some of the, on the uh, for a pistol. But you know, mm-hmm. for the I'm talking energy gauntlet though. Oh, he's both his hands are are free. Those those, those are but that's, to his there's body. no little star next to that thing. Technically, playing by the rules, it would replace the other range F weapon he has. Makes no sense, but that's what would happen. Rob, I'm sorry <laughs> to ruin your day. Rob, uh, are you gonna cry? <laughs> That's not right. It's not right. Talk to the rules committee. It's not me. Okay. Well, then I'm done. I'm done. I like your list, Jack. I've got my my arms crossed in front of me. First, my the show that I had orchestrated. You know That's how true. much work I put into it. Your your day's ruined. It's it it is ruined. So, Jack, do, do I need to get Georgie back in here for you? It may, I'm, later, I I might put up the Georgie signal. Yeah, you might look up in the night sky and see it. Uh, All right. Okay. That's what I would do. I mean, I would do that for you. Okay. So that's your list, Jack? That is my list. We'll take a break. We'll be back with me and Coach's list then. Yay. Yay. Enough of the list already. Now on to the commercials. Quiet down, boys. I'm trying to listen to Dead Zone, the podcast. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Hiroku, and I'm your friendly neighborhood Blake Lord. Why, yes, I do enjoy listening to Dead Zone the podcast at deadzonegame.podbean.com. Even if it is hosted by two pathetic humans destined to be part of our glorious Blake. Was that gunfire? Damned enforcers are always interrupting my podcast time. Don't forget to go to deadzonegame.podbean.com for all your Dead Zone listening pleasure. Now, to destroy these damnable enforcers. Alright guys, award winning team building exercise. R- Rob, what season is this? Uh, tree. Season tree! The one and only. We've done one, we've done two, now we're up to tree. Tree, 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 tree. And thinking <laughs> about it, we're doing the Maison Labs, which I don't know. Did I mention that it's not a GCPS faction? Did I mention that, guys? I think I, I might have mentioned that. Okay, it looks well, a lot anyway. like a GCPS faction to me. No, it doesn't. It does absolutely <laughs> not. So what we're going to do now is we saw Jack's list, uh, you know, he- heavy tactically with the medics and whatnot. So we're going to go to Rob's list, the Taskmaster. Who's been? Uh, he's been a little lax in his uh, taskmaster abilities here, but we're going to see what happens with his list. So, Rob, take it away. Well, I, I like to preface this list with: uh, I didn't know there were striders because they're not in the the version of the book I have, but uh, I guess they're going to be in there. So they're in my book, Jack. They're in your book. Just just own up to it, Rob. Okay, I just, don't, I don't just, have striders. If so you make a mistake, just. Just own up to it. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, it's worse. I don't have worse. Striders. I would have had Striders in this list if I knew they existed. But since I didn't, they won't be. Uh, okay. Also, I'd like to say that while we're starting to record, it, I found out one of the, the uh, specialist options actually wasn't what is in the book either. So, once again, the this version of the book that we have is completely wrong. So I had to faint change that. So my list changed at the last second. That's why it's going to be a little strange. So I'm starting with uh, Dr. Lucas Coiner because he's his uh, splat is awesome. Everything else is pretty meh, but his splat is amazing because you're never going to be able. What's that? He's a medic. Yeah, you're never going to get into anywhere near people to medic them. You're not going to get close enough to inject anyone in his range two weapon. You're going to hide this guy because you want to use that splat constantly to. Uh, you want to make sure you keep that tactician too to uh, keep popping up those dead guys. Mm. And I uh, I didn't. Uh, Go what Jack said. Jack said to go Maison Lab Techs if you want to go all out, but I didn't do that. I only took one of those just because points worked. So I have one Maison Lab Tech because I had six points left over. But then I went with uh, five Maison Security Guards for the same reason Jack took them. They're cheap and uh, they're going to die and you'll get those zombies for them. Or not mm. zombies, plague victims. Plague victims. Them. One one more uh, tech. You could have had two Striders, Rob. Yeah, you're right. It's true. I, I could have. So you went with Actually, one? I have, no, I have six. I have six guys because I have five ma- uh, security guards and a ta- lab tech. Oh, so yeah. I, I would be able to have two striders if I knew they existed. But I didn't. And then I took uh, 
I originally was going to take uh, the uh, Urbana Specialists, but then I found out they no longer have Scout. So I took that off, because the only reason I was going to give them Scout was sniper rifles. Well, whatever, their version of a sniper rifle, which is like a marksman rifle. But instead, I, I dropped those guys out, which allowed me to have three Urbana Blackwing Rangers instead, who do have the Scout. 16 points. They shoot and fight and, and everything survive on fives. They have armor, which is cool. And they have that laser carbine, which is the way to fire one. So I got three of those guys, just because I had to change it. I was going to have snipers instead. And then with the rest of my points, I have 80 points left over. You know what equals 80 points? Two aberrations. Uh, That's what oh. equals... <laughs> two aberrations. When you, when one isn't enough, you take two. So I have two aberrations in my list. You know, I uh, always say that, man. If you like something, take two of them. Yep. Fights on threes, which is the important part. And uh, size four, armor one, tough rampage, which... Rampage, yeah, sure, it sucks, but it's only a, what, a one in eight yeah, chance it's, of... It's, you know, you, you roll the dice, man. Yeah, it's not too bad. And they have uh, AP2 and knockback on their weapons. The knockback's but, not great, but the AP2 is good. Rob, don't uh, don't gloss over the fact that there's tough in there now, which wasn't there before. Oh, was it? I didn't even know that. I don't was, play Blake. Was not. So. Was not. Go. So, yeah. That's my list. That's exactly 200 points. I didn't take any items because uh, I don't believe in items because I never remember to use them pretty right. much. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I took. And uh, yeah, I, I think the only thing I would change from this list already would be those Rangers because I think I would choose something else, but I was under the gun to put something in there. Okay, because so I was I was going to ask about the Rangers. They're all right, but they're... Uh, uh, well, actually, if the... Uh, the Rangers are just like the Marines, but for five extra points, you get Scout. Mm-hmm. Is that worth it? Oh, they get one armor. Fun. They get one armor for it too. So they Scout one, one armor. Yeah. yeah, for five for five points, one five armor. Points, scout. Yeah, that's no, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, that's worth it. That that was my question. Getting them up close with Scout when they didn't, you, you didn't give them like the the special weapons or anything like that. Yeah, well, I would have. I would have. These guys have no weapon options. You can't switch out the weapon options on the Blackwing Rangers, unless that's changed too. Because God knows this book is not. Correct. No, no, I don't. I don't think it has. <laughs> so all so, you get is that laser ca- carbine, no matter what. So, but the laser carbine is a range six rapid fire way to fire one. That's awesome. It's good, but I would rather have the uh, hollow sighted weapon. So, mm. I guess it could have given them hollow sights. Do they have hollow sights? No, they don't. They uh-huh. actually don't have hollow sights to have. So. Well, I I'd think rather that's... give them the Accutech LR45 DMR, but unfortunately, that's only the other guys who don't have scout. Yeah, but there you go. So, Coach, what do you got? Show us what you got. Oh man, I went, I went bonkers, man. I went the other way. I Good. went. I mean, I mean, you know, when we won that award, remember we were um, when we were accepting that award, and they said we love the fact that the three of you hit the lists at like different angles, from completely different places. And this just goes to show you at the beginning of season three that uh, we're going to have it going. But, you know, although my two buddies, my two compatriots here, I did take Dr. Lucas because he's just he's just awesome. man. you know, I, I like him. Uh, I think if you get him into a fight, he might be all right. You know. Oh, yeah. If he uh, has to fight, he'd be fine. But I, or, I wouldn't get him in a fight. Right. Or if you if, if somebody's coming close to you, say they, they're about to reach you. And you can get him with the range one stun. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? It's it's pretty good. You know, like say you start the round and guys are getting a little too close for comfort, you can hit him with the stun. The laser cutter is AP one it burns and you're shooting on a five. Not not terrible. And survive on four and he's a medic, so he'll heal himself. Uh I like it. I like it. And he and he also has frenzy one. So frenzy one on a five fight is yeah, is bonkers, man. It's pretty good. So with my troops, I went a little troop heavy. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I took uh, four Maison security guards because, you know, they're eight points apiece, five, six, five with a laser rifle. I mean, they're like, they're the, your basic troops. They're your basic human, you know, like a, like a Rebs trooper or something like that. So, you know, not, not too shabby. And then I went with four Urbana Blackwing Marines because... For 11 freaking points, five across the board, but they got way to fire one with the laser carbine, and they're only one victory point. So now, mm-hmm. I mean, I got – they're fodder, but they're good fodder. You know what I mean? They're, they're – I, I like them just because of that gun and a five shot with a one VP. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, you know, you just can't. No, that's a solid troop. Yeah. So now 
you know, and, and I'll be honest with you, playing a lot of enforcers, um, you know, I've been, I've been trying, dipping the, dipping my toe into the Asterian pool. Uh, of course, you know, playing a lot of Forge Fathers, um, guys that are, are non plague. They're so cheap. You get so many dudes, man. So when I did, after that, when I did my, uh, I, I, I was adding up the list. I was like, oh my God, I got so many points left over. So let's, <laughs> let's go, let's go somewhere else. You know what I mean? So I took, uh, to start off the specialist, I took five plague victims. Okay. 11 points, speed two, three, which is, which is sexy as all hell. All right. Uh, you know, they don't have a shoot, obviously they don't have a shoot stat, but they got a five and five fight, five survive. They are beasts. They do have rampage, but they're frenzy one with a four fight. Yeah. Four fight. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't, I'm sorry. I said five before I meant four, uh, a four fight with frenzy one. Mm -hmm. That's, that's pretty damn good. Yep. Pretty damn good. And then what I got to do is you got to bring them. You got to bring them. Cause I know I could have brought a strider, but I said to myself, I'm not bringing a strider. I'm bringing the uh, Abbey Normal, Mr. Aberration himself, because I painted him and I liked the way he came out. So he's coming in the list. <laughs> and any list I could take an Aberration, you're okay with me. So uh, I also took one item, which is a smoke grenade, and I will give it to one of the Blackwing Marines just that you know, to have it, maybe throw it down so that uh, we can save some people. And that's three points. So now as I'm going through this, I noticed that I have – 24 points left over and what i say is you know what i'm going to shock the world for 24 points engineers i will uh, well close very close uh he does have some some tools maybe for engineering but right now for 24 yeah. points to take the org organic data storage unit that's oh, a, you no. hate him <laughs> uh no you hate, I hate the model chovar. i hate the oh. chovar i do <laughs> like the organic data storage unit. Now, if you see in the unboxing of Star Saga that myself and Andrew did, uh, you will notice that I have been won over to the data storage unit, but the Chovar sucks. <laughs> so, and with that, adding it all up, I'm at 200 points, correct, Mr. Harper? I didn't even check the points, sorry. Okay, well, I don't believe worry you. about it. Don't worry about it. So, and you know what's the funny part is I was using Excel, and you know when you bring down stuff? So when I brought down the uh, Maison Labs and I brought the, the Blackwing and the Plague Victims, it adds it up, you know, on Excel. You bring it down. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, then it was 11, 12, 13. So I had like I had like 15 extra points once I fixed it. So I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guys. Mm -hmm. with an aberration or organic data storage, who's a size three. Uh, and Dr. Lucas, who's only 26 points, although he's three victory points, but uh, it, it's, it's great because I think with this, if, if I may, you, you kind of have a, uh, you kind of have like an all encumber encumbering list, you know, like encompassing list. I'm sorry. Like everything you have, everything that, uh, that you may need, you know, and uh, I dig it. I dig it. You're giving up a lot of victory points. I will give you that, though. Maybe some easier than others, but, you know, who are you going to pick? You're going to shoot the security guards or you're going to pick up the, the Marines because they got the better weapon. But at that time, you know, the plague victims will be in your face because they move at a 2-3. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I dig this list. I really like this. Uh, I think this is a really good new faction because it's not a GCPS faction. There's a few guys that transfer over, but there's really only two when you think about it. There's two specialists and then two troops. But other than that, no. And uh, should we go over? You want to go over organic data storage unit because he's he's a new model? Sure. We could do that. So he's got a five, 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 six. He moves one to two, size three. Now he's got psychic frenzy one on a five fight. We just established that. That's not bad. And he also has an energy shield of two. So mm -hmm. you're... You're you're taking the Chovar also had the energy shield too, correct? Does he? I, I think he did. Where's so the Merc's book? Check the Merc's book. Hold on. I got it right here. Hold on. Merc's book. Open it up. That would be Paige. Jack, what page was he on? I'm literally reclining right now, and I'm not uh, – my arms no, are still crossed. Oh, you memorize the book. You should know. My arms are still crossed sullenly in front of me. <laughs> I, could, I could see the lip sticking out too. It, it is a little – it's quivering. It's quivering, ever so yeah. slightly. <laughs> so – 
So the only difference between the Chovar, which is 20 points and two victory points, um, he does not have a fight stat. He does have a six survive energy shield, energy shield two, and he's for psychic. So, um, yeah. So now, um, there are different psychic powers. So the ODSU has mind blast, which is a range four psychic blast. He has mind terror, which is range four psychic stun. He has hyperkinesis, which is range four psychic invigorate. And then he has electrical discharge. Wait, let me say that again. Electrical discharge. Wow. Range F knockback. So uh, you have a lot there. Now, now, let's remember. I want to read this to you. Hold on. Let me put away the merch book. And I want to read this to you. Because it's very important. Jack, are you paying? I know that you're upset. Are you paying attention? I am paying attention. Because this is going to be, this is going to be big. I, I'm a professional. No matter how, how, how black the cloud is over my head, I still, uh, I'm a professional. Look it up. Okay. So now. You know, psychic, if you look in psychic in the main rule book, now that we have the uh, outbreak book, you still need the main rule book because there's a lot of, you know, the, the rules and stuff are still in here. But the lists and stuff are in this book with the new abilities. But we're going back to page 32 of the regular rule book. I'm not going to bore you and read the whole thing. Uh, basically, a psychic test or a psychic, uh, um, if, if you have a ranged psychic attack, it's a shooting attack. And it, you do it all the same, you know, you get all the pluses and minuses and everything. The only exception, now this is from the book. All right, Jack, ready? The only exception is psychic weapon does not need line of sight to its target. So if you could do something with the uh, the, the uh, ODSU and you hide him and you can get him into a point where he might be able to do something. Now, obviously, the range F, uh, you know, the, the electrical discharge you can't do, but Everything else is range four. You put him in the right place at the right time, he might be able to do something for you. You, you know what I mean? He can uh, maybe stun some guys or blast some guys off things, or you know, it, you could even invigorate somebody. And you could also use a shoot dice on him to do two psychic powers at once with tech five, tech, uh, five altogether with Lewis's Lucas's tech two. He might be all right. So you know, I've uh, I don't like the Chovar. He still sucks, but. For four points more, I'll take an ODSU. I I think the the data storage unit has an advantage over the Tangle, which has basically the same powers. All all the psychics, the psychic powers are all basically the same. Right. Uh, uh, is that he, he can move indoors? He can do the, the, the Tangle's just sitting there. He's pretty big be, still, but yeah, not as big as the Tangle. Tangle's gigantic. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, no. so uh, and the yeah, Tangle. Uh, I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Uh, that's all right. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say. So yeah, that that's a, a big advantage than being st- stuck out. He can go into a building. He can uh, move uh, into uh, like in, into cover. That and now that the psychic powers without the line of sight can really can really have an effect. Mm. Now, when, when you look at the tangle, I'm, I'm I have them side to side. I know you guys have tangles. And I know you guys got the ODSU. Um, the tangle is immense. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I dare say maybe a size four plus. Yeah. You know, it barely fits in a square. <laughs> yeah, it barely does. And then, like, if you really it want doesn't. to model, you, yeah, it, it doesn't it, really. Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying. Well, you gotta have. You almost have to do it like sideways. He's got to like, you know, turn sideways to get through some alleys. But if you if you're modeling for advantage, you're going to cut off those things that stick up, you know, like the, uh, the struts from the ship or whatever, you know, that, that are there. Um, but with the, this, the storage unit, um, I guess the size three comes from, he's pretty tall, but the tentacles that are sticking out, he's got the two, like, you know, he's got two tentacles that are holding stuff. Another two that have weapons in it. Another one that has weapons in it. Then he's got two. If you look at it, like, what? What's going on here? Huh? Like, I don't know. Like, you know, he's got his hands like this. Jack, like this. See? Yeah. Yeah. Just like, like that. Like, what, what, what do I know? So, um, but yeah. So for me to like a Chovar, it's got to be good, man. Yeah. That's saying something. That's saying something. So that's my list. And uh, I'm sticking to it. I like it. I, I looked at it this way. Half, half dudes and half plague. Well, I, I like the fact that you leaned heavy into the plague victim mm-hmm. because it's such a good 
it's such a good model. And, right. and when, when I, I was thinking I'd make a plague victim list, I thought, okay, well, the leader doesn't need to be uh, Dr. Octavius anymore. He can be the other uh, security guy. You know, he's, he's, he's all right. But I was like, okay, well then it's the, the plague victims doing the job. But when you mix it up and you start now, now you're, you're playing against someone who has to think, Oh, he's got a little of this. He's got a little of that. Well, if you want, let's go over you. I mean, we've basically taken everything. Or, or uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ta- we have to take a break. Yes. Th- there's, there's no, a this cert- is the editing master. He has to uh, edit this. <laughs> so we'll take a break. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll talk about what we didn't take. Yeah, all right. Enough already. Now on to the commercials. Yeah, oh, man. That was a good roll. Hey, Georgie, what are you watching? Oh, I'm just watching a video on Family of Gamer 777 on YouTube. What kind of videos are on their channel? They have hobby videos, live streams, Dead Zone and Warpath battle reports, and tons of other great stuff. Oh, cool. I have to check them out. Remember, that's Family of Gamer 777 on YouTube, the hub for all things miniature wargaming. So, Georgie, what's your favorite video on their channel? I love them all so much. To pick just one, you... what do I know? Oi, this is Boomer from the Elite Georgie List, and you're listening to Team Building Exercise. Love you, Rob. And welcome back to the award-winning Team Building Exercise. Uh, uh, so far, I, I have uh, used my creativity to create a, a show that was uh, wildly different than the, the usual with uh, a lot of uh, kind of games and stuff. And I do appreciate that. Oh, wait, no, that that wasn't allowed. Instead, we talked about uh, the, the Maison uh, Lab Corporation Marines. Is that what they're called? No, just the Maison Lab. So, oh, you know, okay. The, I think, it, it's a little confusing. Maybe they're the same thing or. No, basically. Yeah, they're got, just a corporation, right? Like they're just yeah, the same it, as a corporation. So. Well, they're. It, it, the uh, I, I'm assuming the fluff, if I may, the, the fluff is kind of like it's Star Saga. You know, they're they're a research facility, and the Maison Labs. You know, in the Warpath universe, you can hire uh, you can hire your own army, which is like a GCPS. So you know, the Maison Labs hired the security. You know, the Maison, the Urbana. Blackwing and all those guys and the security guards, they basically protect the interest of the Maison Labs. But also, you know, the, the experimentation that's going on, if you, if you look, the, uh, you know, they got aberration and we got plague victims and whatnot, uh, medics, you know, things like that. And then the organic data storage unit, which is the ODSU, I kind of like that better. Uh, these powerful psychic beings are captured and tortured by the Maison Labs to become nothing more than organic hard drives trapped in the constant nightmare of computerized coding. Mm. So these guys suck. They're, 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 not, they're not good dudes. So the different feel would be that they, you know, like, like they're just, this is a corporation and, you know, they got a few guys. They've hired some security guards and they got a few Marines to take care of stuff. So, you know, protecting the interests of the Maison Labs. So what you're, what you're saying is they're basically the same. Okay, so Rob, um, we're going to go uh, with the, uh, the, the way this show runs is now we discuss what we didn't take. So, uh, so well, no, Rob, let's it, run us through here and uh, get this get this show on the road. Wait, where, where's the hate? Because you already started it saying that they're the same, you know, that whole deal. Well, we do the hate last, and we do still have a, a – there, there is a skeleton of a system uh, okay. still involved in the show. So, Gotcha. So yeah, well, what didn't we take, young young uh, young Rob? Well, the first thing we didn't take was Guard Commander Graves, mm-hmm. which I think is because he's terrible. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, I think he's useless. Well, you want me to, I I if you want, I can go over it. Yeah, mm-hmm. please, because he is useless. Okay, so he's got a one to two, four five five attack one strategist, uh, armor one, and he's a size one. 22 points, two victory points. He's a head of security. Uh, I'm sorry, he has a laser pistol, which is uh, range three, way to fire one, which ain't bad, on a five shoot. 
He has the bionic arm. Range F, AP1, knockback. Recon 5+, plus, which is better than Louis. Uh, head of security, you may spend an army special result to give the active model a free fight, uh, fire for effect action. You may only use this once per activation. Uh, yeah. All right, you're fire right. Fire for effect. <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Well, we have to go over that because if you give four more points and three victory points, you get Louis Coiner. Mm-hmm. which we all picked for obvious reasons. So, you know. Uh, There's not three points of mo- model there. Difference. Actually, four four like, points. Yeah, like you can't, uh, like three victory points to two victory points, 26 to 22, like the, the, there's, there's, the points are so close. The models are not. Right. And you know what's cool? It's It's that, like what I did was I went, I went pretty troop heavy. I got eight troops and the plague victims and whatnot. When they die, they can actually come back. You know what I mean? The fact acting serum, it just, you know, the, just the keep dead. Doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep coming back. So this, this is, I, I'm, I'm not really a big splat guy when I play. I like to keep maybe one or two just in case, but man, I, I, I'll tell you what, man, I might have to keep a few of these. Yeah. This just, is one list that you actually just, want just splats. Because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it, it makes sense if you if you build a if you have a lot of dudes, man, you bring them back. Now you will give your opponent uh, another victory point for it, but you know what though, he's still coming back and doing work. So yeah, you know, yeah, could work. Yeah, I uh, I really like that split. Yeah, me too. Me uh, too. The next thing we didn't take was the Urbana Blackwing Ranger, which is just the normal guy, but he has Scout. Like I said before, I wish he had weapon options. The fact that he just has that one weapon for that price, I think the other guys are better. Right. But uh, well, I think on the spe- I, I, Rob, I think on the specialist, if you wanted to take the, um, you know, the uh, Accutech DMR, the whole mm-hmm. site one, uh, it's eight points and one victory point. Yeah. Good weapon. Right. It's a good weapon. Yeah, that's and why the specialist is good. It's just that that the other one he doesn't have weapon options, so it's the same price. He's sixteen points, right. two VPs, no weapon options. Right. Just has scout. That's the only difference. Well, the uh, I think the specialist is coming down in, in price. Oh, make... then my list will be totally wrong. This book sucks. Yeah. yeah. So well, again, we are we are looking at probably a third generation of still a beta it hasn't even gone to print yet so like all of this is still well in the development stages anything that we're saying obviously is with comes with the caveat that a lot has can and will change by the time it reaches the final version yes yeah. okay uh, and the last guy we didn't take is the uh engineer and obviously it would have been medic too but jack had a proof of point those guys are useless in every list. I don't think we have to say that ever again because we say it every time. But the engineer or the medic, both of them. But oh, Jack took the no. medic. But uh, <laughs> now he's being hurtful. But the engineer, especially the medic, at yeah. least can heal yeah, wait, people. Wait, 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 what wait, can wait. the engineer do? Wait, Rob, you, you you really you know I could see Jack. I now I could really hear the bottom lip quivering because he took two medics and you're telling him is they're useless. They're only twelve points and two victory points. I don't get it. What well, Jack? I feel for you, bro. Well, yeah, just being called stupid right in front of uh, God and all his creatures. Well, that's, I said that, that the, at least those guys can heal things. The the engineer can't do anything unless you take an eight point rare sentry gun. So that's twenty <laughs> points for a model. That like, what's the point? I don't get it. And Please. two victory points, correct? Uh, yes. But it, his 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 write up does say uh, that he can use the skills uh, for setting traps. So maybe there's a mechanic for setting traps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there there'll be traps in here. He, he's trained in de- uh, demolitions and sabotage. So like uh, he's got oh, is potential. There, is there things like the rats have where you can do that? Is am I missing something? Well, you're missing it because it's not in this one. Oh, oh, you're saying that that's for another book that's not even out yet? Yes. Yeah. Well, that doesn't help us right now, so never take a, a <laughs> frickin' engineer. Yeah. Yeah, Rob, hey, that, Rob just well, did let, a let roller coaster of emotion. Hold on, Rob, let me ask you a question. If they get something like a trip mine or a debt pack, would you take them anyway? 
No, but at least it would give a reason to take them. <laughs> but it, it's one less thing that's the same. Re- like at least, like I said, the medic. I can see somewhat that he he could be useful in a long game if you're playing like a 300 point game or something where guys might you have long enough time to get around and, and resurrect people. But like in a normal game that lasts like three rounds, who are you going to be resurrecting? Like you say, it's great on the leader because he can he can heal himself. That's yeah. the one time it's useful. But why would a medic need to heal himself? I'd rather just have like a bunch of more security guards. I could get what two security guards for the price of a medic almost. I could definitely get two of the the uh, girls. The uh, I don't know outcome girls because some of them are girls. The uh, lab techs. Lab techs. Yeah. Yeah. You can if you if you do if you give uh, the engineer. Like you were saying, if you give him something, he's 20 points. You can get three lab techs if you really wanted them. Yeah, or two, but, you can get two uh, two security guards. But three lab techs are potentially three lab techs that do something, and then when they die, they become back as, potentially come back as uh, those plague victims. So that's, right. meanwhile, well, this the list, is like, one guy. And in, in, in this list also, if you think about it, in this list, like, uh, you know, we all kind of went troop heavy, but I went very, like, 1VP dude heavy mm-hmm. and you know they're gonna die man i don't care so you shoot you shoot six guys you get six points awesome i'm gonna try to get your big guys you, you know what i mean so you know try to rack up those uh those victory points beforehand so you know something like this now if you would have taken let's say we would have taken uh all the specialists you know the black wing even well you can't the aberration wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered but you know Honestly, even if you go heavy specialist, it doesn't really matter because they're so cheap. I mean, the plague victims one VP, uh, the marine and the specialist are two VPs, and the aberration is four. But it doesn't really matter because you can't heal them anyway. Um, Why but, can't you uh, heal? Because you can't get in the space to heal them. Oh, he's a size, he's, he's a <laughs> That's size <a> good four. Point. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And also, too, you know, I know there was a thing on Facebook that people were like getting upset. I like the fact that if there are four guys in the, in the cube or three guys in a cube or two guys in the cube, that the aberration can't run through them because he's a size four. That just, that's, that's part of the game. It's a spatial thing you can't get through, you know? Now, yeah, of course, if he does go through, then he's got to like crush everybody in the way and it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, find a way around that. That's, that's part of the game. That's the chess match. You know what I mean? You can't, you know, when you play chess, you can't go through your own guys. Unless you're the rook, but yeah. other than that, you can't go through your own guys, you know. So, you know, just figure a way to figure it in, and then you figure it out, man. That's 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 just that's how we roll over here. So you got to learn what to do way ahead of time. <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, and that's that's it. We did. We took everything else amazingly. That's just. Yeah. Uh, I like this list, man. I, I like I like the. I mean, you know, listen, you're never going to get a perfect faction, but there's a lot of cool stuff in this to make it make it enough flavor where it doesn't, it's not the uh, GCPS, but if you do have some GCPS stuff, uh, you could run it in this, man. You know, I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, <laughs> and then, uh, do, well, they also have access to shotgun, flamethrower, thermal rifle, which I'm not too crazy yet. The only thing I think I take with the specialist, I mean, the only thing I might take was the grenade launcher. Mm. Eight, eight points, one VP, range five. Indirect three. So that's pretty good, man. I, I I like that, you know. So so Rob's specialist, uh, when when uh, he took the Black Wing Ranger, he can't uh, upgrade. But my medics, I could have given shotguns. If you wanted to, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't the Rangers have shotguns? Because they're not medics, and medics are awesome. So there. So now about the hate. Is there anything we, to really hate? I don't hate anything. No. Like, uh, other than the general hate of, uh, of, uh, what's it called? The, uh, medics and, and, uh, engineers. And engineers. But yeah, I don't, there's nothing hate, hate in here. No. No. We, we, we discussed the, uh, uh, guard commander Graves. He's, but that's not real hate. That's just, uh, kind well, of I obvious. He's, yeah, he's just kind of useless. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, no. that's, yeah, that's, that's not hate. He's just, you know, we don't hate him. We just go stand over there. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you're 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 in the shadow of greatness. Uh, just just you know, move move aside. We're trying to take a picture of the uh, of Doctor Octavius, and you're just kind of in the background. Yeah, the important things, you know. It's yeah. hard to hate anything in this list just because we don't know it enough. I think. I, have you actually played any games with them yet, uh, Coach? Yeah, I played a bunch. And ha- you, you think they play all right? Like they're well, obviously yeah. tested them. So yeah, yeah, they're good. They're good. You know, I mean, listen. Um, I played him a, you know, he, the, here's the thing with play testing and writing rules. All right. I, I, I play a certain way, right? When I play against other guys, they play a certain way. When I played Rob, he played a certain way. When we had the game, when you came here and we played, you play a certain way. I played different. You know, we played completely different. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen with this book is it's going to come out on the ninth. And by the 10th, you're going to see people saying that, why does the lab technician have a shock, shock baton? Range F knockback. It's a five fight. They're too powerful. And we're going to say, well, no, because, you know, when I used the lab techs, they weren't that powerful. They were kind of fodder. Maybe out of the 10 games I played with these guys that I took them, knockback made one problem, you know, because knockback is uh, when you can cause potential damage. So, you know, you have to have at least one potential damage, and that's rolling and stuff. And, uh, you know, the guy saved and everything, but he still got knocked back and he hit the wall and fell down and he was okay. But he was pinned in the cube with the lab tech. And then, you know, I made him stand up. Nothing happened. He could only survive with the fight. But then I had another fight dice and then I killed him, you know. So, you know, there is balance to it. But we're going to find things that come out later. You know, that's just through people play testing with different styles and different lists, you know. You might say, you know, Rob can be one of, you know, and it's it's a Rob Harper deal. All right, and I took 12 <laughs> he's on lab technicians. And then, you you know, we talk about it, and you're like, oh, man, they're so good. I mean, all right, 12 of them, seven of them died, but the other five that ran in were just so good. They were not backing people, holding objectives, and, you know, they shot those guys while my big guys came up. So who knows? Yeah, you, you, could, yeah, you could find some sneaky things that pop yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But and everybody's got about... VPs, so it's not like zombies in this case. Right, but I'm I'm saying, though, you know, if you like you said, if you take twelve of them and you kill seven of them, you're only getting seven VPs. And you know, let's say you're going against Forge Fathers, they might only have seven guys on that side. They can only shoot so many people. You know, that's true. So you know, the horde list is when you have guys that are six and eight points, you have a horde list. You know, no you can what, really yeah. horde them out. I, I don't, you know, I don't care what anybody says. You know, you can take, you can take, uh, um. Let's say you take 20 lab techs, right? So how much is that? That's 120 points, right? So now we're saying we're taking Louis, right? We're taking Lucas. So that's 146. Yeah. 146. Dude, I could take an aberration if I wanted after that, right? Or or more lab techs. Right. Or a, a, a crap ton of plague victims because they're only 11 points apiece, you know? So, <laughs> you know, you can play this list a lot. It's very versatile, I think. It's almost dare I say like an elite list, but because you, because it's so narrow, you, you know what I mean? There's not too much choice to it, but the choices that are here, there's like a, a lot of really good combinations. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the maze on lab. I'm very, I'm very happy with, it. I'm glad that I was on it to help bring this faction to life. And uh, I think it'll be cool, man. And I think Lucas, if you can hide him in the back and he can medic people kind of like uh, the new Dr. Simmons, you know, like she could just go around healing guys. She's like a support character. I think it's 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 the way to go with him. I like it. And and there is something to be said for hoarding out. Like uh, at at Adepticon, I was playing uh, Rusted Beetle, and I think it was the second turn he moved up a, uh, a Pathfinder, one shot killed an apparition, turned uh, with a dice, and one shot killed a um, Stage One A. I think it was the second round. And I really. Was like, Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was it, it, he was on fire, and that's a bad day, man. That's that that a, is a bad day. That was at a tournament too. Like that was yes. that was the beginning of the end. That was I think my third game or something. And I was like, okay, well that's. Uh, there's a picture of my face actually with Rob lurking behind me when that happened. <laughs> and if you look at it, that's that face well, is not me mugging. Well, that is Jack, Jack. I mean, when when something like that happens, Rob has this innate ability to show up and see when you're when you. When things aren't going your way that bad, Rob is there. <laughs> Materialized. I, I heard the sound effect of him just materializing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 
So back to the point being, uh, he just in one round did a horrific amount of damage. And, just and with lucky rolls, or oh, oh yeah, it was it was eight trains after eight trains, yeah. and and with a it's got to it's got it's to be because you got you got almost between the two of them, it's like nine wounds. Oh, oh yeah, no, you don't have to tell me. Again, there's a picture of my face, um, and and when you have a horde, if you have a small, you know, like a, a, a small elite group of, of high price models, it can turn real bad, real fast. Right. With a horde, you got a little more, you know. You can this, lose this, quite a few before it matters. Yeah. Right. This list allows you to do that, but then you add on, uh, you add on the ability to bring them back. Yep. Uh, I it, it's. This this is a list I want to play. This this so it's this uh, a you could take Coiner for twenty six points and twenty nine Lab Techs for one seventy four points for two hundred points. <laughs> wow, wow! With no, no items, right? <laughs> Nothing else. That's that's it. 200, that's two hundred on the button, right? Yep. Oh yeah, man. That's 20, a Rob Harper list. Twenty nine Lab Techs. Uh, You'd have uh, to have uh, how many? Uh, how many? Uh, how many did you get in a set of? Uh, you only get six in a set of. Uh, of uh, Star Saga, so that's what you need. Uh, how many sets of Star Saga? There five sets of Star Saga. You have to buy the uh, the upgrade packs. You know, you know what's the worst part is that when we with our Kickstarter Star Saga, we only got six lab techs, but we got like I don't know about twelve, twelve of the other guys, and then three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, fifteen uh, Rangers. Yeah, you know, G- or you know. GCPS GCPS guys, guys. Yeah. yeah. So, Which we didn't need because we already have GCPS, but uh, I painted them differently. So You got a GCPS. I oh, don't. you never got GCPS? No. no well, oh, yeah. The ones you know, you're painting were uh, were Erox, right? Yeah, they were Erox. But, you know, it's kind of like I have them because, you know, we could always use them. But yeah. uh, but that I was just, you know, my thing was, especially with Star Saga, getting those guys, it's perfect for Dead Zone. Yeah. So- so that that meme where the guy's looking back over his shoulder uh, over the woman that's walking and the girlfriend's looking, yeah, it's yeah. like the, the uh, it's like uh, plague dogs, the oldness, <laughs> and then 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 lab techs, the new hotness. No, it would be zombies. Plague zombies were the old one. Hmm. Plague know, zombies, for yeah, for, brief, for you, man. for you. But for horde list, that was my old horde list. Was uh... <laughs> Z- zombies? Zombies were good, and I didn't get to paint mine. In the span before they were nerfed down to terrible, so it, literally I never really got to. So my mine would be you know old hotness plate dogs, new hotness lab technician. You think you think the <laughs> zombies are terrible? They overcompensate. They, is... they 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 steered uh, they steered out of the skid and ended up doing a flat spin into the ditch. I think. Mm. This is for another show when we revisit the uh, plague. We'll, we'll discuss if you. I'm, I'm, the te- problem I'm with teasing. Plague, so, I'm teasing. So, so, so I was I was going to do a theme building exercise, meme building exercise, and dream building exercise. <laughs> but but I should have done like I'm going to write a note here just in case one day I am allowed to uh, to have an idea for uh, input into the show. Um, it would be um, it would be mm, yeah. Well, I mean, Rob, for him to have. Input into the show. Shouldn't he answer his emails? Yeah, actually come into the meetings. Yeah, you don't come to the meetings, Jack. You don't get input. Yeah, that's, that's funny. I'm at work. I see the notification. Hey, Jack, we're going to discuss something. Are we on ideas? Uh, I work a ten hour shift. Probably within five hours, I got a message. Well, if you don't want any input, I'm like, I don't have data here. I don't have they they <laughs> they have a thing that blocks uh the the uh they don't have Wi Fi and they block the um. The um, uh, cell service service, yeah. The, the, the building shielded, so so quite literally, the lunchroom you can get a very little. They they unshield the lunchroom. I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to figure out if you're a Canadian Canadian yeah. or a Cantonadian. That's right. You're a Canadian so, or a Cantonadian. <laughs> so, but by the time I had my ideas in my head at work, and I got back, I had already been shut out of any any input like that's, it was, that's what happens time is of the essence it, it is and since i work uh, a, a night well, shift so so when you're you're at home and you're like oh dinner was great thanks hon uh, no i'll get the dishes later hey i'm gonna talk to rob on the i'm at work and then this is what happens 
Uh, so let's let's choose what we're gonna do next week or next month, I should say. Whose turn next is month. it? Mm. Whose turn is it? I don't think we ever had a turn because we've this, this has been we, chaos. Would you, uh, Rochambeau? Yeah. Or <laughs> you wanna you wanna save the new stuff for later because we already started with the new stuff, or you wanna go in alphabetical order, or you wanna just go back to the picking? Mm. Uh, we should do the. I think we should do new stuff next. So I think right. it probably should, should be the nameless name, next, right? Nameless next, right. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, we'll uh, have to decide. One step at a time, right, people? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Rome Rome wasn't burned in a day. That's right. Right. So ne- next month, nameless. And, and it'll, nameless will actually be out because the book will be out by then. So that should be good. The book's out. What are you talking about? Oot. Yes. The the official book that isn't all wrong because my list is all screwed up now and it's already not official because I'm sure the points are all wrong because the book isn't finalized yet. Right. But, but see, once the book comes out, then Jack doesn't need data. Are, are we are we irresponsible for for releasing a show that actually states what's in a book that is actually not really ready for release yet? Like, do we have some? some integrity to, to not do that. I'm just no, wondering it's that, the, the it, horse is already gone. The, yeah. Um, Pandora's box has been opened. We, we're just uh, trying to catch the ghosts that are flying out of it. Oh, gotcha. My, my face is melting off. Oh, well on that, I've been Rob and I'm Jack. And I'm coach Rob <laughs> goblin for life. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to like go. <laughs> I was going to give you a plug, Coach. Stop interrupting me. Don't forget to oh. go to Family Gamer 777 for all the uh, upcoming stuff for the Outbreak book. It'll be all out there. And then mm-hmm. our uh, podcast, I'm sure we'll talk about it. And I think we're going to talk about the book on the next DZTV with Coach. So it should be good mm-hmm. times. And don't forget, I know Jack is looking forward to it. July 28th, Conquest of Triton. My buddy Jack, I got I got a whole room ready for him. I have shanties and, um, <laughs> you know, all set. And I have um, – we have some questionable areas and bars that we'll be going to with Jack. So don't worry about Jack. First class all the way. <laughs> what, you just got to tell me what time to pick you up at the airport. <laughs> and for Thanks. once in my life, be speechless. It's all- That's all right, Jack. Jack, Jack, don't thank me now. <laughs> Your presence will be enough. Okay. That's good. That's good. I'll be there in spirit. Ew, that's another show down the train. What do you people listen to this garbage? Uh, I guess if you want the list that these people made, you can go to deadzonegame.podbean.com and you can see a YouTube version of the show on the Family Gamer 777 channel. Yeah, I wouldn't do either, but then again, what do I know? <laughs>